the um, uh, gym session today. Uh, I will record this video and then uh, we'll post it later to you so you can refer there. Okay, so today is a brief session here with me. I'm your uh, lecturer for ENT 300. Okay, uh, my name is Azlina Shamsuddin. Okay, um, so this is our uh, first session. Okay, so today's class is for one hour class. Okay, from 9 to 9.50 dalam timetable ni lah. Okay, so as usual we have uh, the two uh, sessions for the subject, okay, the one hour and also the two hour session. Uh, the one hour is the lecture session and the two hours is for the tutorial session, okay. So for your group, uh, HM111, okay, for A, for AA, AB, uh, BA and BB here, okay, so we have four groups here, okay. So I will be your lecturer for the lecture and also for the tutorial session okay so let me show you the uh, today is just the overview about the syllabus okay Okay, can you see my slide? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, ENT 300, Fundamental of Entrepreneurship. Okay, so you are part four students. So, a little bit about the course learning outcomes. Okay, so at the end of the course, students should be able to explain the fundamentals of entrepreneurship using verbal and nonverbal communication. So, meaning that after the end of the semester, at least you know what is entrepreneurship, who is the entrepreneurship, what they do, what are the characteristics needed to be a successful entrepreneur. Okay. Demonstrate the entrepreneurial mind in identifying business opportunities. So, throughout the semester, there are uh, assignments that you have to do so that in hoping that uh, we can develop you to become an entrepreneur. Okay. And to demonstrate entrepreneurial skills in preparing a business plan. So, of course, uh, in this uh, subject course, we have an assignment where you have to prepare a business plan. Ada tak antara you yang memang sekarang ni buat business online? Ataupun offline? Ada buat business tak sekarang ni? Ada. Ada. Ada eh? Okay. Ada tak yang join competition yang Mas Mac buat tu? OYC? Ke tak ada? Tahu. Tak ada. Tak ada eh? Okay. Okay, so this course provides an overview of the requirements for launching an entrepreneur career. Yes, yeah, so it's hoping that uh, you are interested to become an entrepreneur to uh, to take it as your to make it as your career lah. Yeah. After an appreciation of the concept of the entrepreneurship, students will be exposed to the critical role of opportunity recognition and evaluation. Meaning that we want you to be able to identify the opportunity. Okay, uh, for you to grab as the entrepreneur. The course also shed light on the entrepreneur as the main success factor in the new venture formation and development. Uh, here also you will learn about what are the successful uh, factors to become a successful entrepreneur, what you need to have. And uh, of course, we want to prepare you, lah, prepare the students with the essence of entrepreneurship and business planning. Okay. Okay, uh, so I share with you the content or the lesson plans for 14 weeks. Okay, uh, all this more you boleh dapat dekat dalam uh, you future dekat bahagian learning activities. Okay, so we have the one hour session and two hour session every week. Okay, so lecture and tutorial. So uh, we will start our first chapter in this week. This is our first week, okay. So first week, you will learn the chapter one, Introduction to Entrepreneurship. Okay? Uh, and then during the tutorial session, uh, I will ask you about, you have to choose lah. We're gonna start straight away dengan uh, our first assignment. Yeah, okay? I will explain further about that later. And then starting from today, you dah boleh start buat entrance survey, okay. So jangan lupa untuk buat entrance survey dekat you future. 
In second, we uh, continue with chapter two, BMC, Business Model Canvas and SWOT Analysis. Uh, you part four students, so I believe you dah belajar ke MKT243? Belajar tak? <laughs> Since you dah belajar MKT243, so uh, tak ada masalah lah, okay? Uh, and then sama juga the, dekat tutorial tu, kita akan, you will have to identify lah the uh, entrepreneur punya PEC. PEC ni yang kita belajar masa chapter 1, okay. Uh, personal Entrepreneurial Competencies, okay. In week 3, uh, gonna start with chapter 3, Creativity and Innovation. And here the student have, uh, usually during the tutorial session, memang I will focus on the assignment lah, okay. Because every week you have to show me the, uh, what you've done for the assignment, okay. So macam saya, saya memang suka suruh student untuk buat assignment tu sikit dan sikit, progress uh, by progress. So mula-mula buat sikit-sikit and then lama-lama siaplah assignment tu, okay. Uh, in week 4, belajar chapter 4 about the business opportunity, okay. Uh, so here, uh, you will submit your first assignment, okay. Uh, pada 22 bulan ya nanti, wait for. So assignment one is simple je, that's why kita buat sekejap je lah. In week five, okay, uh, we continue with chapter five, uh, six and seven, business formation, structure and support system. Okay. So during the tutorial, kita dah start dah uh, preparing uh, buat assignment number two. Okay. Uh, week six, we continue with business plan. Okay. And then masa uh, tutorial pun, kita continue lagi dengan um, assignment two dan juga masuk a little bit lah untuk assignment 3, okay, business plan. In fact, dalam week 5 pun dah start sikit dah lah untuk assignment 3. And then after that, we go for the mid-semester break. Uh, mid-semester break ni untuk kita punya raya break lah, okay. After that, continue chapter 9, marketing plan, okay. So, in week 7 ni, after the semester break tu, you will have to submit your assignment 2, okay. And then uh, during the tutorial ni, uh, going to continue with the uh, preparing uh, consulting about assignment 3 which is business plan. Okay. Since uh, marketing plan ni untuk chapter 9 ni dia panjang uh, a lot of uh, a lot for you to do for the assignment so kita buat dalam masa 2 weeks. Okay. Week 7 and week 9. Okay. Un selepas week Selepas, sorry, week 7 and week 8, okay. Selepas week 8 tu, kita ada one week uh, festival break, eh. Uh, special break lah untuk perayaan kawai masa tu. Okay. And then uh, week 9, okay, kita continue dengan operation plan, okay. Uh, week 9, uh, dalam minggu ni, you can start doing the SUFO and also exit survey bersama-sama, okay. Uh, since operation plan ni pan, operation plan ni dia panjang so kita buat dia dalam 2 weeks okay so semasa belajar tentang operation planning kita discuss juga tentang marketing plan for your assignment dan juga a bit about the operation plan okay in week 11 we continue with chapter 11 administration plan okay uh, week 12 we start doing the financial plan okay and then week 13 and 14 is for the consultation lah. And I will give you the um, contoh for the uh, video, okay. So uh, basically, um, during the tutorial session though, um, you will do uh, assignment, okay, progress by progress. Okay, so your continuous assessment, we have first assignment is case study. This is the individual assignment which is 20%. Okay. Uh, assessment number two, uh, assignment business opportunity, also individual assignment for 30%. Okay. Uh, assessment three is business plan report, uh, group assignment 40% and assessment four is business plan pitching. Okay. Uh, group by grouping juga 10%. Okay. However, starting from this semester, uh, so far until today, we only confirm, yang memang confirm kena buat betulnya adalah the first assignment. Uh, first assignment, the case study. Untuk assessment 2, 3, 4 ni, kita maybe ada perubahan. So, we are not confirmed yet. 
uh, insyaAllah by next week kau baru confirm okay. Tapi uh, since kalau tengok tadi you see the objective, one of the lesson objective for this subject is to prepare to be able to prepare the business plan So of course business plan ni akan adalah untuk assessment 3 and 4 Cuma nya kita tengah tunggu lagi uh, lah confirmation okay so however you can start doing the first assignment lah okay. first assignment is 20% so untuk yang seterusnya ni I will explain nanti bila kita dah confirm lah bila Syah Alam dah confirmkan okay okay so I uh, explain a little bit about the first assignment okay for the first assignment the individual assignment where you have to do a case study and for this case study you want to focus on the Personal Entrepreneur Competencies ataupun PEC Okay, so dia 20%, 20% banyak juga Okay, if you want to score A for your subject ni You have to score dalam semua your assignment lah okay? Students are required to identify and gather information about one entrepreneur okay? And its business okay? Sources can be from newspaper articles, website, blog, internet, etc And prepare a report Meaning that uh, from today, you can start looking for one entrepreneur, successful entrepreneur yang you memang minat, you suka. Okay, so cari tentang dia, tengoklah dia buat bisnes apa. We want to get uh, a little bit information about the entrepreneur, okay, background dia dan juga dia punya business background dia. Business background meaning that uh, dia start business bila and then business tu tentang apa, nama business tu, the product that they have, uh, apa -apa lah. okay, a little bit, okay. Students must also include any two personal co entrepreneur competencies, PEC, of the selected entrepreneur. Okay. Identify and explain with example the PEC okay, based on the information that you have collected. Okay, information ni daripada online lah. Okay. Uh, meaning that after you've done, you dah cari dah tentang entrepreneur to siapa, background dia a bit and then dia punya business background and then you have to identify dia punya PEC dia apa. PEC ni adalah dia punya characteristic of the entrepreneur tu. Okay. So, uh, you tengok daripada senarai Right, PEC dekat dalam slide yang diberi so you tengok yang mana yang bersesuaian with the entrepreneur that you choose okay so you ambil definitions tu and then you have to explain uh, apa yang you nampak PEC tu pada that entrepreneur okay sebab nak dapatkan example tu why you said that the entrepreneur tu have uh, this type of PEC contohlah okay this is the format dia lah for the first assignment. Of course, macam biasa, you have the cover page, okay. Jangan lupa untuk buat cover page, eh. Okay, cover page ada markah. Uh, table of contents, macam biasa, in table of contents, you have to list all the content for your assignment tu. Jangan lupa masukkan dia punya page number, okay. Uh, untuk dapat a uh, full mark, five marks ni, of course you can list everything and then they can ada page number. Kalau tak ada page number, saya tolak maka. Okay. And then you have to do the executive summary. Most of the student dia macam confused tak tahu what is executive summary. Okay. Executive summary is a brief explanation of the content of your report. Summary secara keseluruhan, okay, about the content lah dekat dalam report tu. Meaning that when people, okay, read, uh, reader read the executive summary, that person will get a little idea, brief idea uh, about uh, your assignment tu tentang apa. Secara ringkas saja. that's why we call it as summary. Okay. So usually untuk cover page, table of content, executive summary ni You will do it after you finish the whole assignment Dah siap semua, dah kompar baru you buat yang ni semua okay. Itu adalah 5 marks And then you go to the introduction So in this introduction, you akan masukkan the entrepreneur profile Nama dia, kelayakan dia, semualah okay. At the bit, lepas tu dia punya business profile okay. This is for 10 marks Lepas tu kita have, we have uh, the entrepreneurial competencies Okay, definition for two PEC that you choose PEC one apa dia, so definition dia apa And then you give example related PEC tu dengan entrepreneur Lepas tu PEC two tu apa, definition dia apa Lepas tu contoh dia apa daripada that entrepreneur Okay, so ini adalah untuk 10 marks, okay 
Uh, next is appendix, five marks. Apa nak masuk dekat dalam appendix ni? Everything that you get lah. Contohnya kalau macam you baca articles, newspaper articles about the entrepreneur, kejayaan dia ke apa, so you boleh masukkan dekat bahagian appendix. Or you want to show the entrepreneur punya business, product dia pun boleh juga dekat bahagian appendix. So I ada appendix lah. And then for over report, contohnya untuk spelling, sentence structure, grammar dan sebagainya tu adalah untuk 10 marks. Okay. So totalnya adalah 50 marks equals to 20%. Uh, for me, this assignment is very simple. Sangat simple. Okay. Maksudnya tak ada masalah untuk you buatlah senang je. Uh, untuk assignment 2, 3, 4 semua tu, I, I'm not explaining it yet lah, okay. Sebab ni kita tak confirm lagi. Cuma ni kalau nak tengok business opportunity, I will explain further. In that, you can identify pula uh, the, uh, in the type of business yang you nak buat and then kena sediakan dia punya SWOT and juga BMC, okay. Untuk business plan yang mana dia adalah grouping, macam biasa kita akan bagi you the format and you will get in group and then uh, buatlah business plan tu according to the chapters. Okay. Untuk assessment number four, kalau ikutkan kepada last semester, you have to do a video pitching. Okay. Video pitching meaning that grouping juga, group yang sama daripada assessment three sebabnya once you submitted the business plan report tu, yang tu dalam bentuk report and then you have to do the video. Video ni dalam masa, you have to record a video for about three minutes, three minutes sahaja, okay. Uh, tak kisahlah nak buat macam mana, cuma ni kita nak dalam bentuk link and then you bagi link sajalah. Okay, biasanya student akan upload dekat YouTube lah, okay, for 10%. Uh, dia kata grouping tapi cuma seorang saja yang akan present. Okay, so mean that tak perlu semua sekali lah the whole group members to be in the, uh, untuk bercakap dekat dalam video tu seorang sahaja, okay. Uh, yang tu semua saya akan explain nantilah when we confirm. Okay, so kita explain number one dulu, assignment one dulu so that you can start doing the assignment one lah. Okay, uh, okay. so how I get your attendance? Uh, of course, kena ada attendance lah untuk kelas macam biasa lah. Okay, uh, attendance ni saya akan ambil daripada you future. Okay, uh, so bila you masuk you future, every week our session, our class will be conducted using you future. Okay. So for example, bila you masuk you future, you akan pergi, you akan nampak learning activities. Okay. So you click the learning activities tu and can you akan nampak ni lah. You pilih the course uh, learning activities ni. Ada nama saya ni lah. Okay. Uh, this is the course overview. Course overview akan ada dah the syllabus. Okay. And saya masukkan juga uh, the uh, assignments, questions lah. Sama question, sama format yang from last semester. Sama lah, okay. Due date dia ada semua tu. So kalau macam ada pertukaran assignment, so saya akan tukar lah nanti. Okay, so far kita confirmkan yang tu lah, okay. So video untuk hari ni pun yang ni yang recorded ni eh, akan masukkan dikit saya ni juga lah, okay. For this week, untuk week one, so you have click click kat sini lah nanti eh, untuk lecture dan juga untuk tutorial. I separatekan the lecture and tutorial into different folder sebabnya adalah saya ada juga uh, tutorial dengan student lain. So saya sekalikan lah, okay. So for you, you have to go since you dengan saya saja untuk lecture and tutorial. So you have to click both, okay. So lecture, you tengok video lecture. Untuk lecture session, okay, all my lectures is the recorded recorded video, okay. So you can uh, tengok kat situ lah. Okay, nanti kejap lagi saya tunjuk eh. Untuk tutorial, you kena masuk kat sini. Lepas tu, you kena um, buat lah the tutorial question tu. Dan seterusnya, okay. I will update later lah semua ni. Week by week, what are the activities that you need to do. Okay, so semua ni dia ada um, apa ni, uh, trackers. Okay. Attendance pula, daripada bila you masuk dekat learning activities tu, it will record your attendance. Okay. Contohnya, okay, ni adalah untuk attendance for lecture. Okay. So untuk lecture, this week you ada two videos that you have to view. Okay. Lecture video one, lecture video two. Bila dia ada pangka-pangka macam ni, maknanya student tu tak start lagi untuk tengok. Okay. So, once you dah tengok dah, dia akan jadi tanda right yang green ni lah. Okay, green. Kalau you tengok tak habis, dia akan jadi macam ni lah. In progress. 
Okay. So all your uh, attendance adalah daripada sini lah. Okay. So attendance macam biasa, you have to fulfill at least eighty percent of the attendance. Ini contoh untuk yang lecture attendance dan juga untuk tutorial attendance. Okay. Okay. Um, saya nak tunjuk lah contoh eh untuk uh, you feature. Medium. Yeah. Uh, ramai ramai nak masuk tapi medium tak accept. Saya tak accept sebab ini masuk automatik. Tak tahu dia orang cakap macam tu. Ni kan. Kesian semua dah tertinggal. <laughs> Kenapa, kenapa tak bagi tahu tadi? Okey. Mungkin sebab bila saya present tu tak nampak so tak boleh nak tu dia orang. Okey tak apa ya. Eh? Nanti you all tengok je recorded. Okey. Ah uh, okey saya nak tunjuk a uh, new feature kan. Okey. Ni adalah the learning activities. Sorry ya eh, pada yang saya lambat mas you all lambat masuk tu. Okey. Uh, so uh, nanti boleh tengok dekat course overview, kita ada lesson plan, okay this is the first assignment dia punya soalan dia lah So later you boleh tengok lah, okay uh, ni ada dia punya rubrik, saya bagi rubrik sesekali so that you know <coughs> The criteria dia lah macam mana saya tanda Soalan assignment dan juga the um, apa tu uh, Due date dia lah, okay Okay macam tu, okay um, Okay, lambat. Okay. So nanti you tengok kat sini eh. Okay, biasanya uh, untuk semua assignment you have to submit online lah of course dekat uh, assessment. Okay, so nanti saya akan letakkan semua link untuk submit dekat sini lah. Link for assignment. Okay. Uh, kat sini semua dia tak ada tracker. Sebenarnya so, that semua ni uh, you masuk you tengok pun dia tak tak ada uh, dapat attendance lah for this. Okay. Um, Kat sini dia akan ada trackers, okay. So for week one ni untuk lecture ni dia ada video one, video two dan juga powerpoint lah for your uh, yelah, panduan you kan. Okay so untuk um, untuk uh, lecture ni dia ada tracking, okay. So maksudnya bila you tengok, uh, saya tahu lah you tengok dan dia akan ambil attendance. So, sama juga yang ni lah. Kalau untuk powerpoint dia tak ada. Okay, so mean that kalau macam you rasa you tak perlukan powerpoint tu pun tak apa sebab dia tak ada attendance. Okay. Uh, the tutorial for this week is, uh, ni pun ada video juga. Tapi dia tak ada tracker sebabnya adalah um, dia additional uh, material. So kalau macam you nak tengok boleh, tak nak tengok pun tak apa. Okay. Cuma kat sini uh, dia ada tracking mean that uh, for for me to consider you as uh, for your attendance for tutorial so you kena buat yang ni, kena jawab lah soalan yang saya suruh ni okay. so tu adalah untuk the first week okay. second week uh, saya tak masukkan lagi the uh, saya tak buat lagi the apa, lecture dan tutorial saya tak bagikan lagi so kena bagikan okay. so macam tu lah soalan tak? Tu je kot. Madam. Ya. Yeah. Madam. Ya. Yeah. Uh, saya nak tanya kan uh, assignment satu tu kita kan kena pilih any entrepreneur kan? Ya. Yeah. Uh, so dia limited kepada Malaysian je ke ataupun mana-mana pun boleh? Boleh, mana-mana boleh. You can choose uh, local entrepreneur ataupun international pun boleh juga. Tak ada masalah. As long as Uh, mudah untuk you dapat information about that entrepreneur lah. Jangan susahkan diri. <laughs> pilih pilih uh, you pilih the the person tu lepas tu dia dia susah untuk you dapat information. Okay. Next. Medium. Ya. Yeah. Uh, untuk yang entrepreneur tu boleh pilih uh, kalau boleh kalau tersama dengan uh, orang lain macam mana? Uh, tersama pun tak apa, tak ada masalah kalau tersama pun nak buat macam mana memang you memang minat kan <laughs> entrepreneur tu sebabnya adalah um, mungkin in terms of dia punya karakteristik, dia punya personal uh, 
entrepreneur uh, competencies tu berbeza kalau sama sekali pun mungkin had example you use ataupun how you explain kepada entrepreneur tu adalah berbeza walaupun nak mention semua uh, your first assignment tu you have to do it in infographic uh, format you know what is infographic format yes Uh, tahu kan sekarang ni kan kita biasa tengok most um, apa ni uh, organisation bila dia orang nak bagi tahu information semuanya dalam bentuk infographic okey contohnya biasanya yang kita selalu tengok sekarang ni adalah uh, uh, report daripada KKM so dia buat dalam bentuk infographic so that dia nampak menarik infographic meaning meaning literally tu sikit-sikit lepas tu dia ada banyak lebih kepada gambar dan dia tak ada sangat dalam bentuk paragraph uh, macam tu lagi? Ada untuk grouping berapa orang? Untuk grouping? Uh, untuk um, business plan tu paling eloknya adalah lima orang. Paling sedikit adalah tiga, paling ramai lima. Tapi kalau macam semua orang dah cukup lima lima lima, tinggal seorang tu je, so bolehlah satu grup tu jadi enam. Sebab untuk business plan tu, kita, we have five positions, okay. Uh, business plan tu saya akan explain nantilah sebab saya takut macam format dia berbeza, bertukar. Lagi soalan lain? Kita tak ada final kan, Adam? Apa dia? Kita tak ada final. Oh, final tak ada. We don't have final. Memang final assessment tak ada, test tak ada, quiz tak ada. Uh, tak ada lah. Kita cuma ada assignment sahaja. So subjek ni memang ramai orang, ramai student dapat A. Uh, ramailah kalau macam student saya sem lepas dalam ramai-ramai tu seorang je yang dapat B. Yang lain semua A. Caranya adalah you have to do the assignment tu and then cara saya adalah every week you have to show me the progress. Macam contohnya starting from this week you dah kena pilih dah siapa entrepreneur you tu. So you start doing your assignment sikit by sikit and then you have to show it uh, progress by progress. Why you need to show me progress by progress I will check so that um, nanti you betulkan ya. Yeah? So that bila you hantar on the due date tu, you akan hantar assignment yang betul yang macam saya nak lah ha, macam tu. Cuma ada certain student maybe macam dia tak nak hantar progress and then dia bila saya suruh betulkan ke, baiki ke, dia tak nak buat so ha, itulah maka kurang sikit. Okay. Lagi soalan? So you faham ya, kita belajar you kena masuk dekat dalam you future untuk lecture you kena tengoklah the recorded video. Untuk tutorial you have to answer the question buatlah apa yang saya suruh semasa tu. Okay, so maybe from time to time uh, maybe I need you to post your uh, apa file tu dekat bahagian uh, I discuss ke. We always tell you lah dekat dalam WhatsApp group. Uh, untuk uh, Jimmy, um, saya macam contoh, this is the first uh, session so saya buatlah Jimmy to explain a little bit about this and then after that, kalau macam saya rasa perlu untuk dibuat Jimmy so saya akan buatlah but um, bukannya setiap minggu ataupun setiap kali kelas kita akan ada Jimmy tak, okay. If you rasa macam you need to consult with me and then you nak ada Jimmy session with me one on one, you boleh request pada saya lah untuk buat Jimmy. Ada soalan lain? Mereka. Soalan lagi tu? Ya. Yeah. Uh, Assignment satu tu tak limited kan dia punya pages? Nah, so, uh, Assignment one? Assignment one ke? Ha. Uh. Assignment one uh. tu je, tak perlu buat panjang sangat. Paling panjang pun adalah about 10 pages. 10 tu pun dah panjang dah. Sebab simple je. Okay, madam. Okay. Dia, dia macam report eh? Case study? Yeah, yes. Inf infographic report. Oh, okay. okay. Nanti saya akan tunjukkan. Apa dia? Minimum pages berapa? Minimum pages um, cover satu cover satu page kan lepas tu apa lagi ya executive summary um, table of content 
um, lepas tu background of entrepreneur, background of business, PEC 1, PEC 2, lepas tu apa lagi? Um, appendix. Minimum dalam 8 kot. 8. Itu paling minimum lah 8. Okay. Um, hmm, bukan lah. Okay. All your assignment have to be uh, in PDF format eh. Save dalam bentuk PDF. Kecuali video lah. Okay. Uh, video untuk um, assignment number 4 tu you bagi dalam bentuk link sahaja. So uh, yang assignment 1 ni dalam bentuk PDF. Okay, so untuk buat infographic format ni, um, ada banyak um, tempat yang you boleh guna. For example, you can use Canva. Canva ada juga infographic punya format tu. So you just masuk aja dalam template tu. Macam tu lah, apa tu tambah-tambah. Okay. Lagi? Soalan tak? Ada? Tak ada? Ada, ada. Okay, so kalau tak ada soalan sampai situ saja, you can uh, bolehlah pergi masuk dekat dalam you future tengok uh, baca about the assignment, tengok video for uh, chapter one untuk minggu ni punya, lepas tu tengoklah the tutorial. Um, saya tak kisah bila you nak tengok video tu untuk lecture dan juga nak buat untuk tutorial tu, tak semestinya you have to do it ikut kepada timetable. Uh, you can do it anytime you want, okay. Uh, tetapi mestilah buat semua tu dalam minggu ni. You have until this sun Saturday. Uh, you have until Saturday untuk finish everything tu lah. Biasanya minggu depan Ahad tu baru saya check siapa yang masuk, siapa yang tak masuk macam tu lah. Okay. Kalau contoh macam hari ni you nak tengok video satu saja, video dua tu yang nak tengok esok, uh, boleh je tak ada masalah. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, madam. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you untuk semua yang join yang tak dapat join minta maaf ya. Uh, nanti uh, saya akan post video kejap lagi. Okay, thank you so much. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Baiklah.